Hi all, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Europa Universe House 4. We're doing Poland Cannon to Space. We're actually in a quiet period here, just trying to push tech forward as quickly as possible. And at the same time, losing our Cardinals that we are investing in. Thank you, guys. Um, we're also paying off loans. Slowly, we're paying off loans, but we are uh, from our devastating battle earlier. So, hope is that we can get through, pay off the loans. Continue teching up. We got one tech the last episode. We're going to get another one here pretty soon. Uh, the only disadvantage to this is that I don't currently have advisors, so I'm losing out on a ton of points because I'm not paying for advisors. But I really can't afford the advisors right now with the amount of loans I have out. Um, it would be great if I could take money from someone somewhere, but there's no smart wars and I only have one army, so I can't really afford to build a new one yet either um, we'll figure something out but it's a little bit slow today Austria you're so big it's really depressing oh, it looks like the Burgundian province province that was down here I'm not remembering which one is gone um, so France is at least stabilized sub but mostly in the direction of Burgundy. This is what we can tie with Switzerland, but not yet take it over. What ideas can we take? So aristocratic we can take. We are ahead by four years. So... I actually think it makes more sense to hold off because we're going to get to the right amount of points right about when that happens. But, admin tech 10. So we get another group of ideas, which has to be uh, di diplomatic ideas for me to be comfortable. And now we have to think about it. Um, I don't intend to do any exploration, naval expansion kind of stuff right now just don't see that happening so it's trade versus diplomatic and considering how dangerous things are in the rest of Europe I'm gonna go with diplomatic for now um, that should be reasonably helpful we can also what did we get here more options tolerance of heretics plus three stability costs nah, that's not whatever missionary strength plus one tolerance of her heretics minus one um, I don't want to increase the stability cost. I'm sort of tempted to do this. What is my current tolerance of heretics? Minus one. Hmm. Form desire. Currently, I can't really do missionaries anywhere. My religious unity is terrible. Um, I am tempted to turn Protestant take the extra money, but we're not there yet, so we'll hold off. We're actually going to push us up to, off to five with the hope that nothing really is going to be happening, so it won't hurt the um, strain too much. We are down pretty low on frame rate, though. Spain controls the Papal Controller. Okay. Or Spain is the Papal Controller. Somehow Austria has managed to... I don't put my points there for nothing. Oh. Let's let that continue for now. I just noticed I have three different things of water on my desk. Two glasses, one bottle. Not really sure why. But clearly I was thirsty at some point. Too much manpower. No way. Be nice if I could afford to build a military, and I really could. Um, but I would like to pay off a few more loans, since the more I pay off loans, the more money I'll have then later. Fourteen. 
of course. Well, the first thing we need to do is up our maintenance. Move these guys close. Hopefully Lithuania is coming to help me. I'd be very happy with that. I would be in favor. Maybe. Warmia. You need to keep on moving. Go, Lithuania, go. Take them out. They're taking some decent damage. It would be really depressing if Lithuania's army loses to these rebels. At least they'll do some damage, but really? They did. Okay. Lithuania is that bad. All right. Well, hopefully we're able to do better than that. Oh, we walked into more nationalists. Great. Uh, we're getting close to the point where we, we may be losing harsh treatment. Yeah. So it's getting close to where I need to do harsh treatment again for folks, which is not optimal. Uh, that does cost points that we don't want to lose. But it's that or take tons of damage, which is not something that I can really afford to do. Although I love how Lithuania has now just completely run away. They attacked the rebels, they failed to kill them, and so they ran away. There are now other rebels, but they're not going to deal with them because that would be, you know, helpful. And of course, we are now losing money. Brilliant! Um, except, oh, lots of stuff happening. Recall the diplomat. The new emperor. That's fine. Oh, what is that? That's an Austrian army. Please tell me you're, worth, you're at war with the Ottomans. Hey! You two, beat each other up. Have something terrible happen. Been waiting for that forever. The best option would be if, yeah, it's Lithuania. Okay, it's like everyone. The best option would be if somehow the Ottomans were to do well and break off a chunk of Austria. That would be amazing. But probably unlikely. There we go. Good army. Please finish them off. Just squish them. I don't want to deal with more of them. I lost a lot of troops that time. But. Alright, they got squished. We are now gaining money again while we work on reinforcements. This should be up to 12, so we need about 4.5k left. We have a new Pope, we have a new Emperor, a new Pope. It's very exciting. Changes in the air. Can't quite pay a loan back yet. I like gaining prestige, and I'm not really worried about the Pope right now, so that may be what happens. Yep. What does prestige do again? Trade power, better relations over time. Yep, all things I want. They're reinforcing 800 a month. Okay.
nationalists in Danzig. Right. Danzigian nationalists. Did I miss a Danzig nation? <laughs> Spread of Protestantism. Yay. Okay, repay that loan. Down to one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen loans. And now we're just getting rebels everywhere. Austria is the papal controller, that's fine. We're actually going to have to start making more military units. But Pomerania might come and help me. You're my vassal, come help me. How much do you like me? Yeah, we're pretty close. I don't need another national tax modifier, so there's yet more inflation. This is getting tiring, guys. So let's... I can't boost stability at the moment. Um... I don't really want to spend that money on harsh treatment at the moment either. So just everything's problematic. <laughs> go Pomerania, go. I'll take that. Thank you for the help. These guys will continue to reinforce. Course we're now making no money and can't pay off loans. I don't want to make my king the leader because my king's actually good for once. Let's not hurt that. It's mm. fine. Alright, let's see if we can't take these guys out. We would like to do that now rather than later. Good initial hit. We do have better morale than they do. They are rolling. Oh, they are rolling better than I am. Really? How many nines are you going to roll and kill me? Oh, that's distressing. Do it again? Yeah. So. This is a horrible situation. And Pomerania and Lithuania are going to be able to come to my aid. So where are we still on the worst? Four Pomeran. They did harsh treatment here. It's 60. I'm going to raise the stability. It should help money and 
hopefully revolt risk. It'll give us a little bit. And hey, we could really we could send a missionary if we wanted to. It would take forever, but we could do it. Um, revolt risks are still high. It was not as effective as I'd hoped. I now have no manpower. Joy of joys. Well, at least I'm making money, because I can't actually do anything about it. And ten years of nationalism is both annoying, but it's we can deal with it, I suppose. Um... Yeah. At least my legitimacy is high. But did the war finally end over here? Looks like it. There's a piece over here. Uh, fine. Doesn't look like it. All right, that's fine. Lithuania, do you want to come kill these rebels while you're around? You know you want to. It'd be really exciting. Be a great use of your manpower. Oh, damn and blast! I can't take these money. Come on, Lithuania. Take them out. Now the question is, are they going to go over all the way to Vorpalmen? I'd be really happy about that. More tech. So the only thing we have going for us is that our tech is still advancing pretty heavily because we're forcing it. Defensive and Offensive Eastern Musketeers. Okay. And more tactics, which is great. We want... We're going to go with Offensive Musketeers, I think. Good. We do have the right cannons. We're still waiting to get down here to Wing Tussars, but that's a 22, so it's a bit away. But we are... Our army is more effective. Let's see if we can get Lithuania to pop off of that siege. And how are we? How close are we to diplomatic? Pretty dang close. All right. Apparently, no, Lithuania is just going to hang out there and help me. Well, that changes. Come over here. Take your 19 stack. Go against the 10 stack. Uzbek. Very large and wants military access from me. Okay. Are you at war with Moscow? No, you're at war with the Ottomans. That's fine. Russia is at war with Tver. I think they're going to win that one. Ireland's been formed! It is no longer Connacht, it is Ireland. I'm very proud of them. I'm losing claims on things, and that's fine. I don't really want to cross this belly against Lithuania anyway. We have one guy... Freaking more rebels. Mm. Oh. And that would be the end of this episode. So I very much appreciate your time. I hope you enjoyed watching. I'll talk to you next time.